Hi, I'm Rob with Skid Steer Solutions and I'm here to talk to you about our HCS control valve kits. Our HCS control valve kit allows you to take one set of primary hydraulics and turn it into two sets of controls. This is accomplished by having a primary set of uninterrupted ports, which then has an actuator to switch to a secondary set of ports. As you can see, two hoses come in from your machine, connect to the valve, and then four hoses go out. Two of which go to the primary circuit, which can be a motor or a cylinder, and two more hoses come out of the valve and go to the secondary circuit. All of our standard kits come with a control valve, an electrical switch, a 12-foot power harness and fuse, and a 22-foot extension harness to run down the boom. There are optional 8 and 14-pin kits available, as well as a Bobcat 7-pin controller, so that you can put this on any kind of machine. These kits are easy to mount and come with a supplied installation or operation guide. Let's go over some of the features of the HCS valve kits. Our HCS valves have a 0 to 30 gallon per minute flow rating. They allow you to operate two functions from one remote. The units are stackable for the ability to have a third or even fourth sets of circuits. You can use these valves with double or single acting cylinders as well as motors. They are universal with open, closed, or PFC systems. These are not high flow certified, so be sure to not accidentally operate the high flow of your machine. Our HCS valves would allow you to keep things tidy and safe, and there's no need for hydraulic lines in the cab. This solenoid valve features integral mounting holes for tractors and other implements. The HCS valve is rated at 4350 PSI and features a 12 volt negative ground. The operation of the HCS valve kit is as simple as it gets. There's two primary ports and a pair of secondary ports. The flow goes in the primary, out the secondary, and back through the primary. This is without any electrical or anything connected, this will happen. If we want to actuate the secondary ports, all we do is have our electrical connected, push our button, you can hear it clicking, and now what it's done is it's taken the primary flow and it's putting it out the secondary set of ports. So this is to operate our secondary flow circuits, whether it's a cylinder or a small motor, whatever, that's what this is for. This is the kit here. We've got our extension kit, which goes down the, the uh, attachment and plugs in right here. We have our boom extension. This is the part that goes into our machine. We have our switch kit. It has a switch, it has a plug, it has a, some tie wraps in here, a fuse. So everything is here that you need to get this up and going right away. Optionally, you can purchase these plug and play kits. There's an eight pin kit for old Caterpillar ASV. There's a 14 pin kit, which covers old Bobcat, Gale, New Holland, Kubota, and New Caterpillar. And there's even these CAN bus kits, which cover Bobcat 7 pin. So no matter what kind of machine you have, we have a solution to get you up and going with, a, with an HCS valve kit. What we have here is a few examples of where the HCS valve is used. This is an E70 backhoe. We have the valve installed here with the primary lines coming in. The secondaries are running up and operating the cylinder, which runs the bucket. When we switch to the secondary lines, it operates the thumb. Over here, we have a sickle. The primary lines come in and run off and run the sickle cutter. The secondary lines come off and run the, the lift and lower operation of the, of the bar. By pushing the button and operating our hydraulics, both forward and reverse, we can successfully raise and lower the cutter. Over here, we have a six-way dozer blade. Six-way dozer blade, with just the lines connected, we'll be able to angle the blade to the left and to the right. As soon as we can connect the electrical up and we push our button, as well as use our hydraulic controls, we'll be able to tilt both down to the left and down to the right. What I'm gonna do now is show you the HCS valve in operation on the Sydney tree shear. First of all, you'll notice is I've got one set of lines coming out. This goes into the HCS control on the primary side. I have my electrical con control connected here and this is through a plug and play kit. The beauty of the plug and play kits now are that it has a built-in LED. So you'll notice, once I have it installed, if I hit the correct button, the LED lights up. And this is telling me that my, my control circuit is working and fully operational and I'm ready to go. So with that said, let's fire up the machine. Just gonna raise this off the ground a little bit. Now, by operating the hydraulics with no hand on the electrical, I can open and close the shear. I'm doing this on my right control, just using my toggle switch, left and right. Now, if I hold the button, 
it's going to switch to the secondary port. Now I can rotate the blade. Still, I'm holding my control switch and I'm operating my hydraulics. Now I let go and it goes back to the primary position again. It's just that simple, folks. Easy to install, easy to operate, easy to maintain. We hope this video helps to explain our HCS control valve kits for skid steers, compact track loaders, and any other machines you may want to connect this to.